What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Smoking Barrels, and in this episode I am going to try and turn this standard cab into the ultimate shooting adventure camping vehicle on a budget. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me and the channel, um, I essentially go around and I go shooting, hunting, fishing, um, camping, adventurous sort of stuff like that. Um, I usually do a couple of days out at a time, and when I go out shooting and hunting and stuff, it, it quite often ends up being the other end of the country, and so I have to travel. Uh, that can cost a lot in travel expenses, so I figured I might save myself a bunch of money and also make a lot of my trips way cooler if I can turn the back of this into a bit of a camp. So. We're going to have a couple of tiers, so we'll have some boxes underneath, we'll have a bed on top. It'll be real simple, um, basically trying to keep it as cheap as I can. And uh, we should have enough storage space underneath for all of my kind of cooking essentials. Um, I'll try and get an awning that comes off the top of the van out here so that we've got kind of the ability to cook undercover and stuff like that. Um, but it should take shape pretty quickly. I reckon we can get it done in a day if I get a move on, so I'm going to get to it. Okay, so I've taken some real quick measurements. We've basically got 1500 mil, so a meter and a half wide. We've got just under 1300 mil depth, but I'm gonna actually have some sort of uh, way of bringing the bed out to here so that I can lie flat um, when we're out camping properly. Um, Cause I've laid down and measured out to here and this is where my feet come to. Uh, we need to go about 25 high to get above the wheel arches. So we'll do that and that will give us our room for our drawers underneath. So I think it's time to start cutting Okay, so I've got these, I've got two of these big sheets of 18mm OSB left over from another project. Um, so what I'm, I am going to use these, but what I'm not going to do is tell you, well, this project was free because I had all of this stuff stored in the shed. Um, so what I'll do at the end is I'll show you like a proper pricing of how much all of this stuff costs. Um, and hopefully it shouldn't, it still shouldn't be very expensive, um, but I'm going to use it because I've got it here. So let's measure this up, start cutting these bad boys out. So, funnily enough, I do actually have a table saw in there, which would be really nice to cut these with, but these uh, big sheets of 18mm OSB are way too heavy to be handling, um, so that's why I'm doing it with a jigsaw. And if you're wondering why I look like a super redneck today, it's because it's one of the hottest days in the year, um, and I've picked to do a whole bunch of DIY, so I am absolutely melting. It's like 31, which is hot in the UK, because um, now I get a lot of American watchers. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to burn. So I'm trying to make this thing as manoeuvrable as possible so that if we ever sell this truck or whatever I can just basically slide it out and I don't have to deconstruct the whole thing, I don't have to screw anything into the truck etc. Um, so I'm going to do it in like two parts, I'm going to have one basically bench this side, one bench this side and then on top of these two there'll be like a panel that sits in the middle um, that'll make my full bed basically. Okay so this is the idea, we'll have basically two of those benches with a drawer a drawer in each one that pulls out that can store all our stuff and then I'll have a gap in the middle here um, which I'll be able to put a plank on top and that'll make the bed and then I'll have more storage space under the middle as well all right so that is one box screwed together so you can see how that'll be half the bed I'm gonna have the same over this side now and that'll be the two uh, like two almost benches and then there'll be a panel that just comes across the middle and then that'll be it pretty much done okay cool so we've got one box made here and we've got the other box made here um so those are my two benches um with a gap in the middle all i'm going to do now is basically put two supports in one here and one over here to hold this back corner up and then um, that'll be that re uh, done. Then I just need to make a bit of a platform on here for my centerpiece to go across. And it's pretty much done. Not bad. For I think it's been just over an hour. I'm on a roll. Okay, so now we've got our left bench and right bench. And then I've got the bed board up. This simply 
slides out. And then, when you don't want it that, it slides in there. And it gives you a floor. So that's pretty cool to make your kind of double bed. Um, but that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do is put a drawer that's going to slide out in there and another drawer that's going to slide out in here. And that will also make my kind of countertops out here when I want to do cooking and stuff. Um, but also my bed in here to like full length. So far, very good. Spent about two and a half hours on this so far. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> I think it's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so it's day two. I uh, lied yesterday when I said it was going to be the hottest day of the year, and it's hotter today. So, too hot for clothes. We got the two shelves in yesterday. Uh, now I'm going to focus on getting these two drawers in today, uh, and that'll be us basically done. Um, then all I really need to do is kind of put the mattress on top and stuff like that, but that's all kind of superficial stuff. So as long as I get these drawers done today, uh, then that's all of the kind of base features finished. So, let's get to it. Okay, in theory that'll fit inside uh, around my wheel wells, so let's have a look. So, it does fit. But... This little bit here is actually thinner. I didn't really take that into account than where this is. So I'm going to have to trim a little bit off, which is a bit annoying. Okay, attempt two. Oh yeah. Snug as a bug in a rug. Cool, now just repeat the process for this one. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is have a handle on here that I can just pull that out. And I'm going to have some boards that go up the sides to make my uh, drawers. Now I've got two drawers, uh, so now all I need to do is basically put some side walls on and a handle, and she is good to go. Okay, so I think just to finish this off, you can see my drawers pulled out now. Um, and when I'm lay down flat in the bed, in the back, my feet come out just a bit further than the, the actual bed itself, because I've only got a short truck. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a tarpaulin that comes out over here, obviously to keep us dry. Um, but I want a bit of a countertop that's going to sit on here that goes all the way across to here that basically provides the extra leg room for me but also like a countertop for me to do like cooking and stuff like that as well um, so I'm going to measure that up and then that'll be my kind of final piece okay let's go see if she fits thinking why didn't I make one that comes all the way across here the reason is I didn't have enough timber this piece that I just cut was the last piece I had and it wasn't quite long enough it was about that much short <laughs> and it wouldn't have worked if it was like unbalanced it would have fallen down and stuff so I uh, I've just cut it to this length 
because I'm not spending any any money on this project. None at all. So that's that. Okay, so I've just been into town, been to B&Q, got some final touches. Um, the last few things that I've got are these handles here um, that you can see that I've just screwed into the drawer. Um, so that means I can basically lift them up and slide them in and out a bit easier. Um, I'm putting one of those on each side. And then the other thing I got is this memory foam mattress topper. Uh, I got that off Facebook Marketplace. It was £10 and these handles were £3.99, I think. Um, so again, all fairly cheap. This is a really nice memory foam mattress topper. It's like four inches thick, four or five inches thick, which is perfect. Um, so not too thick. It folds up real easy. I'm just going to put like a normal bed sheet on top of it, uh, over it, so that it's um, covered. And then the one thing I spent a little bit of money on was these. Basically, sheet, uh, pieces of carpet, and I'm going to put them on all of the kind of wooden surfaces up here, so that I'm not, so that we're not basically getting uh, splinters in your butt when you're climbing in and out and stuff like that. Um, and it just kind of soaks up a bit of like moisture and stuff like that when you're in here overnight. So that's it. And th those were two ninety nine per piece, per like fifty centimeter squared sheet. Um, again, so not expensive. I think in total they were about because I got nine of them, so whatever that works out, it was just under 30 quid, like 27 quid, something like that. Um, yeah, so not too bad. It's all coming together. I think once I've done this, put these handles on, put the carpet on, and the, and the beds in, it'll look basically finished, and I can show you guys the complete finished product. Okay, so we now have basically finished the back of the truck. So we've got our two drawers in either side with our handles connected, which makes it super nice and easy just to grab and slide them out and back in. Uh, we have also put our carpet on, which you can see under here, which is just nice just to stop like all the bits of wood getting onto the bed and to kind of stop any spiky bits getting us. And then the last piece which we have done is got our double mattress topper and put it in a kind of bed sheet uh, and now we've got a full bed if i fold this out whoop, it gives us a full double bed in the back and it folds up pretty nice and easy back in like that and that's it super duper simple design completely finished okay and that is it um, i hope you enjoyed this video if you want any more information on the products that I used, um, any of the bits that I've installed, um, check the description below, and if they're not in there, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Now all I've got left to do is fill this up with some camping gear and go off and go on my first adventure. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.